In this video I'll show you how I turned this into this. I have a bit of a weak spot for old animal books and magazines. The information inside them is often outdated, but I just like how they look and the many old school illustrations they showcase. But if I actually want to read about zoology, I either use the internet or some of my newer and more up to date books. So these old books are mostly just laying around. With help from the custom billboard feature in Planet Zoo, I have been able to give my old books new life. For me, the most annoying part about making custom signs is the search for artwork fitting every species in my park, made in roughly the same art style. But then it hit me. I could go animal artwork hunting in my own personal library instead of using Google. Now I just need to get these vintage illustrations into this modern PC. For that I just used the camera in my phone. The best thing to do now would be to use Photoshop, but since I have spent all my money on dusty books, I can't afford that. Instead I used PowerPoint from the office pack, which I somehow could afford. In PowerPoint you can find a function to remove background from images. Well, since my version is in Danish, it is called Fjernbaugrund. This function is far from perfect, but I can get a good enough result out of it. For the rest of the sign designing, I use a free version of canva.com. Through my whole Valps and Zoo project here on the channel, I'll try to only use animal illustrations from my book collection. This makes all the signs appear similar in the art style and makes them feel more personal and one of a kind. Besides the animal artwork, the rest of the design for most of the signs is rather simple. Every animal will get at least one basic sign set up like this, with a scientific name for the species, as well as a Norwegian and English common name. I decided to use the range maps from the Zoopedia to make sure they could all be in the same style, even though these maps aren't really the best. Otherwise the signs tell you the species I use the end status. I also decided not to add a lot of text to avoid the process of making signs getting too time consuming. Besides from the standard species signs, some animals might get additional signs made for them if I feel like there's a good story to highlight. This llama tracking sign is an example of that. So now you know the story behind the signs in Valps and Zoo and possibly other zoo projects I do in the future. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.